during 2019, we realized at the end of 2019 when COVID hit us, the whole world was kind of talking about supply chains. And we realized that supply chains have been transforming during the recent past. There's a lot of rich data sources that people are leveraging to take decisions in supply chains and logistics. And people were kind of migrating from offline decision making to online decision making. And we said that, can we offer as an institute a comprehensive program in supply chain and logistics? Then we kind of pivoted and looked into smaller pastures, which is very critical to any supply chain organization, which include how do you manage risk in supply chains? How do you manage inventory in supply chains? How do you really look at different modes of transport? How do you optimize the mode? How do you really figure out how much inventory position in the network? How do you design your network? How do you optimize it? These questions are always there, but the way of thinking and the fresh look at these problems have changed because of availability of new data sources. And this program exactly targets all the executives who have a passion towards this kind of a learning, this kind of a method and taking a comprehensive look in the supply chains. So this particular course, we said that let's not touch only at a 10,000 feet level. Let us start with the broad strategy, but also glean out the crucial aspects at the operational level and tie, align the operations with the overall strategy. That was our goal throughout this program. Every supply chain has a very different focus. Some are trying to mitigate risk, some are trying to focus on responsiveness, some are trying to focus on green supply chain, some are trying to focus on agility and flexibility. The needs are varied, right? But one once you finalize those needs, how do you really mitigate or align some of the operational risk and ensure that your operation delivers what the supply chain strategy talks about? All the modules which include supply chain strategy, which includes the modal choices, which we talks about how do you optimize a node in the supply chain, what kind of warehousing strategy you choose, what kind of distribution strategy you choose. And this of course will vary depending on the vertical that you're belonging to. So it's not just one, I would say all the modules are equally important for any supply chain logistic professional. However, what distinguishes one module, which I would say is very important, is the capstone project. I think that's one of the key pieces where they learn for six months and then they figure out how to really apply some of these tools and concepts back into a real world situation. This program will help to understand what are the kind of data richness the organization need to bring? So first of all, what kind of data you need to collect and involve your IT team in gathering the data so that you can take meaningful decisions, number one. The number two is that you will see that this program also is a hands-on experience on the models that you need to develop, on the kind of analysis you need to do, what kind of insights you need to obtain. The third thing is preparedness. Before the COVID times, automation was only meant for developed countries. But now we see that with automation, even developing countries can benefit and particularly mitigating all the variabilities, especially looking at the labor shortages. In particular, during these disruptions, your demand goes multiple times, your supply reduces by multiple times. How do you match demand with supply? But these are the aspects that the senior leadership should really get into. And I hope this program will benefit them and take them further.